Avenue downtown on the site of the old Carnegie Library that was first built 100 years ago. In a city known for its national museums, organizers say when their museum opens in 2003, it will focus on local life in America's capital city. It's going to be unique in that it is the only museum dedicated solely to the life in Washington, to the Washington experience. It's not going to give you the homogenized feel of a, of a museum on the mall. It's going to specifically talk about what it's like to be a Washingtonian, what it's like to live in Washington, and more importantly, the history of how Washington came to be. Coming up at 6, we'll take you on a tour of more of the library and hear more about its future. Susan? Tom Sherwood. Thank you, Tom. We've got a program note for you now. We are installing a new transmitter here at Channel 4. The work is taking several days, and while it... Tom Sherwood reports on the fundraising, new architectural plans, and the historic site chosen for the museum. And in a city of museums, we don't have a museum like that right now, a place that really tells the story of the city. Washington's Carnegie Library is a grand but worn building awaiting new life as the City Museum of Washington. History is on every corner of the city. So this museum really becomes an orientation, a starting place, an overview of the city and its history. Well, it's unique in that... Museum spokesman Tommy Duran is a fifth-generation Washingtonian. His mother told him of coming to the library as a young girl to study in a place that, unlike others, wasn't segregated. My mother said, you know, when I used to go there as a child, and study for school in that library, I never knew that my son would be working there later. Much of the ornate interior of the building and its many references to scholarship remain intact, from sweeping corner ceiling molding to inlaid marble flooring. We've got three main floors in this building. Project uh, director know, Mark Doswell of Devro Purnell says the museum will have 60,000 square feet of exhibit space, a multimedia theater, and research rooms. Literally next door from the new convention center, the city hopes to attract many visitors who might know little about the nation's capital they are visiting. They're right in the heart of downtown. I mean, this really will connect the city to the region, to the neighborhoods, and of course it's, you know, this portal to the whole nation with all the visitors that are coming here. The city museum has raised about $12 million toward its goal of $27 million, groundbreaking the set for this September. If all goes well, planners for the City Museum of Washington say these doors will open in two years, March 2003, beginning a whole new era of Washington history. Tom Sherwood, News 4, Washington. The Carnegie Library was originally a gift to the city from financier Andrew Carnegie in 1899. Organizers hope to open the parkland surrounding the museum for picnickers and small concerts. When our newscast continues tonight, we'll report on an airline passenger who chose not to listen to the instructions. It'll help bring D.C.'s history to visitors who come here from all over the world. This museum really becomes an orientation, a starting place, an overview of the city and its history. In a city of museums, we don't have a museum like that right now, a place that really tells the story of the city. Organizers say they hope to break ground in September, and if all goes as planned, the doors of the new museum could be open in 2003. Interesting plan. Nice so, building, too. Uh, yeah, yeah, beautiful nice building. building. So uh, we've got some...